Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Utzi for Maranatha Community Fellowship in Plain City, Ohio. Hey, I saw these new things uh, that they're coming out with. They're called EVTOL, little e, uppercase VTOL. It stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. And it's, it's like a motorcycle and drone combined. So you can sit on this thing and ride it, and it lifts up in the air vertically. You can fly it. And actually, the Dubai police are are trialing it now. They gave, you know, a company gave them one, they're training people on it, and, you know, it's kind of interesting, you know, but I was wondering, I wonder how high this thing will fly, and then I, I read in the article that, you know, it'll, safe flying altitude is 16 feet, probably so that if you lose control, you're not falling hundreds of feet, right? Um, and the max speed is 60 mile an hour right now, and it only costs $150,000. And so you got this neat thing. And they even said that if you buy one in the United States, like if you got that much money, like you don't even need a pilot's license to fly it, right? And I'm thinking, I wonder what you're gonna need, right? Can you imagine these things buzzing around, you know, like a motorcycle or snowmobile up in the air? Ooh, I think that would be pretty cool, but it's pretty expensive. And I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, you, you dream about these kind of things, right? And, and it reminded me of Jesus at his ascension. In Acts 1, it, in verse 6, it says, you know, this is after Jesus was resurrected. He was walking around with the disciples. He, he showed himself to hundreds of people, right? And, and so now he's getting ready to go up, be with his father until he comes again. And it says, so when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, are you restoring the kingdom to Israel at this time? Like they wanted to know, hey, God, we know there's a kingdom coming. Jesus, we know you're the king of kings. Are you going to establish it now? And he says, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. So he says, No, it's not now, but you're going to get power, and you have a job, a function to do while you're on this earth, right? You're going to spread the news about me throughout the whole world. And... He goes on and says, And after he had said this, he was taken up as they were watching, and a cloud took him out of their sight. So he went a lot more than 16 feet in the air. I mean, this guy, whoop, Jesus, wham, up there, out of sight, in the clouds, taken away. And so how, what do you think the disciples were like? It says, while he was going, they were gazing into heaven. You know, I imagine you would be too, right? And it, and it says, um, and they were gazing, and suddenly two men in white clothes stood by them. And they said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up into heaven? It's like, well, why wouldn't we be looking into heaven, right? And, and they told them that this same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come in the same way that you have seen him going into heaven. So there's a great promise there. Like, I've given you a reason and meaning to be on this earth, to work for the kingdom of God. And then when he comes, he's going to come again just like he left. Like, how exciting is that in Matthew 13 it says they will see the son of man coming in clouds with great power and great glory and we get to share in that we get to share in that beauty and the power and the love of God and and all of that stuff and you know what as I was thinking about what requirements there are to fly this this nifty motorcycle drone thing I got to thinking what are the requirements to be able to share in that glory to be able to go and meet Jesus in the air and come back down to earth with him. Like, what are the requirements? Like, there's not going to be any ideal candidates that are perfect, that are worthy. You know, there's not going to be a license that's required. What we need is faith in Jesus Christ. That is what's required, a belief in him. And we don't know how long we're going to be here, so don't wait, right? Don't wait. You don't want to miss out on the power and glory of Jesus Christ and the right of a lifetime. So, so here's the bottom line. You know, we are going to be rising a lot more than 16 feet and going at more than 60 miles per hour. So get ready, strap it on, let's go. The sky is the limit with God. And so let's be ready to go. And we get to be with him forever, enjoying his beauty. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on The Bottom Line.